با درود مجدد خدمت شما دوستان عزیز محمد مهرپویه هستم مدرس این دوره و با قسمت اول از درس ده در خدمتون هستم Unit 10 Lesson A Okay Before starting I want to go to the topic of the unit which is busy lives Busy lives Okay you know busy is an adjective and uh, so when you have a lot to do when you have no free time You say that I'm busy. Okay, busy lives. Why did I pronounce it lives, not lives? Is it lives or lives? All right, let me tell you something. In English, when you have a word, uh, a word which ends in F-E or F and you add S to make it plural, you have to change F-E-S to We E S. All right. So we have lives here. Lives is the plural form of life. All right. Let me give you another example. You have the word wife. You want to add S. Wives. Wives. Or we have the word knife. When you cut something with a knife. You want to add S, so that is knives, knives. All right. So let's uh, go here. Before you begin, I have one question for you. What do you do during the week? What do you do during the week? Cool. For me, during the week, I uh, teach online. I study books, I uh, watch films, or I watch movies, I listen to music. All right, how about you? What do you do? What do you do during the week? All right, so you got to answer this question. Are you busy? If you ask me, yeah, I'm really busy. Do you do these things? And I mean, uh, do you play any musical instrument? Guitar is a musical instrument. Okay, do you play any musical instruments? In Iran, we have sitar, tar, santur, guitar, piano, uh, violin, whatever. So if you ask me, I should say, yeah, I play piano. How about number two? Number two is like... Work late. Do you work late? If you ask me again, yeah, I work late. Really, I work until 5 a.m. every day. How about you? Do you work late? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Number three, go grocery shopping and run errands. Do you go shopping, guys? I don't go shopping a lot, you know. How about you? Do you go shopping? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Cool. Do you cook dinner every night? Do you cook dinner every night? Me, when I was in China, yes. I had to cook. But here, no. I don't cook. I don't cook, really. How about you? Do you cook dinner Every night, you can say, yes, I do. No, I don't. All right, a night at home. The topic of lesson A is a night at home. All right, so what do you do on a typical weeknight at home? Weeknight, uh, so we have weekdays and weeknight. Days of the week are called weekdays. And week, uh, nights of the week are called weeknights. It, it was better to say, what do you do on a typical night or weeknight at home? All right. If you ask me again, uh, I do everything at night, you know. I do everything at night. I study at night. I teach at night. I I don't sleep at night, you know, but uh, a regular person, 
a regular person will sleep at night and work during the day, but I'm a quite different. <laughs> so how about you? What do you do on a typical uh, weeknight? A typical means a simple, means a regular. It's like every night. No? Typical weeknight means like every night. You can tell me what do you do on a typical weeknight. Okay, you can pause the video and answer the question. As always, you know, this is how we do. Because I cannot wait for your answers here. So you're not in front of me to answer my questions. And we don't have that time, not that much time to do it. All right. Now let's uh, listen and read which of the people above had fun. Had fun means had a good night last night. Okay, let's listen. And I want you to answer this question. Which of the people above had fun last night? All right, listen. Page 98, Unit 10, Busy Lives, Lesson A, A Night at Home, 1. Getting Started, B. Listen and Read, Which of the People Above Had Fun Last Night? We asked people, what did you do last night? Peter. Well, my wife rented a movie. So we watched that, but I didn't like it much. Josh. Let me think. I stayed home, played a video game with some friends, and listened to music. That's it. Mari. I tried to study for a math exam while my roommate practiced her flute. Steven. I chatted online with my friend Jay. He's living in Italy. Rachel. I just worked late and then cleaned the house. You know, the usual. Melissa. I didn't want to go out, so I invited a couple of friends over and we cooked dinner. All right, so. Which of the people above had fun last night? All right. You see that uh, this one, Peter, or Peter, uh, his wife rented a movie. Rent means when you get something and you pay for it. For example, you want to have something for two nights and you pay the money for two nights. So you rent it. Also, you can rent a house and uh, you pay money to stay in a house for a year so you pay for a year that means rent uh, so his wife rented a movie they watched that but he didn't like it much so he didn't have fun next one Josh if you look at his face yeah he stayed home played a video uh, played a video game with some friends so and uh, listened to music so he had fun and uh, next one, if you look at uh, Mari, this is Mari. Okay, did he, uh, did she have fun? <laughs> no, look at his, uh, look at her face, look at her face. She says, I tried to study for a math exam while my roommate practiced her flute. No, she's not happy. Okay, she didn't enjoy it. And uh, so, Stefan, uh, look at his face. Yeah, it means that he enjoyed his night. He had a fun night. I chatted, chat, chatted, or chatted online with my friend Jay and his living in Italy. Cool, so he had fun. Uh, what about Rachel? She worked late and then cleaned the house. You know, the usual. So... Uh, she did a lot of things, but she looks happy, so she had fun. And next one, Melissa. Uh, she said, I didn't want to go out, so I invited a couple of friends over, and we cooked dinner, so she's happy. Okay, she had fun. Let me tell you something about Melissa, the words she used. Uh, 
when you say a couple, a couple of something means two, three, four, like this, okay? Not more than four or five. Uh, when you say I invited a couple of friends, means I invited two or three friends over. And when you say invite over, it's a phrasal verb. Invite over means you invited people to your place. Maybe it's your house, okay? When I say I want to invite a couple of friends over, means I want to invite my friends to my house or to my home, to my apartment, whatever. Okay, you see that uh, one, two, three, four, four of them had fun and two of them were not happy. We're not happy. Let's find the verbs the people used to talk about last night and complete the sentences, then circle other verbs the people used to talk about past. All right, we are going to talk about past, not present. Peter and his wife, a movie, and Peter like it. It was about last night, so the verb is rent. When you want to say it in past, you have to add ed, rented. All right. So Peter and his wife rented a movie, but Peter didn't like it. Remember, if you were going to talk about present, you, have, uh, you had to say, Peter doesn't like it. But it's about last night, a night before, not now. So you have to use something which refers to past. Okay, all right, let me write them for you, didn't. Okay, and here, rented, rented. All right, so next one, uh, Melissa and her friends, we cooked dinner. Okay, they cooked dinner, all right? Cook is present, so if you want to make it past or change it to past, you have to say cooked, E-D. And she want to go out. She says, look at here, I didn't want to go out, so she didn't. She didn't want to go out. Next one, number three, Rachel. So Rachel is this lady. Rachel, she says, I just worked late. All right, so she worked late. She worked late. And she watch a movie? No. She says, I just worked late and then I cleaned the house. So she didn't watch a movie. Cool. Okay, now let's go to grammar. I want to tell you why did I use these things. Okay, so simple past statements and regular verbs. Simple past endings. If you want to use, if you want to change uh, the tense of a verb to the past, you have to use ed if the verb is regular. We will talk about regular and irregular verbs soon, but here, just keep it in mind, keep it in your mind. We're talking about regular verbs. The verbs you add ed. Like watch, we say watched, invite, invited, play, played, study, studied, chat, chatted. Okay. Again, uh, I will come back to you and I will talk about why we have double T here. Why did we uh, change Y to IED? We will talk about it. All right. Simple past regular verbs are verb plus ED, as you saw here. The negative form is didn't plus verb, like watched, 
if you want to make it negative, didn't watch, not didn't watched, no, didn't watch. Invited, didn't invite. Played, didn't play. Studied, didn't study. Chatted, didn't chat. All right. Let's come back here. I played a video game. So what is the negative form? Perfect. I didn't play chess, so I played video games. Or I played a video game. You studied math. So you studied math. Then you didn't study English. He watched a movie. You tell me what is negative form. All right. He didn't watch TV. She watched, uh, sorry, she, she wanted or she wanted to stay home. She didn't want to go out. We cooked Italian food. What is the negative form? Didn't cook. Yeah, we didn't cook Chinese food. Ugh. Don't eat Chinese food. <laughs> they chatted online. They didn't chat very long. Didn't is the contraction form of did not. All right. Let's do it here. Complete the sentences about last night with a simple past form of the verb or of the verbs because we have a couple of verbs here. All right. So look, if we have play, if, if you have just a verb, uh, use it positive. Use it as a positive verb. But if you have not plus verb, you have to use it as a negative verb. Cool. I played a video game. I tried to write them down here. What about this? Not want. So you have to make it a negative form. What was the negative form? Perfect. Didn't want. Uh huh. Didn't want. Uh, didn't want. Cool. I didn't want to go to work. My best friend call. What is the past form of call? You tell me. Yes, called. My best friend called me. My best friend called me. We chat for a while. What is the past form of chat? Perfect. Chatted. Double T. You can use it here. Chat, chatted. It's rain. What is the past form of rain? Rained. Perfect. So I want to go out. I didn't want. Didn't want to go out. And uh, I didn't want to go out. My friend and I practice. What is past of practice? Perfect. Practiced. Practiced. I practiced guitar together. I try to study. Past form of try. Very good. Tried. Tried. You have to change why to I. Okay, let me tell you why did I uh, change Y to I. If you look at here, we have study, studied, and play, played. So here we used Y, here we used I. Why? Why did we use that? Look, if before Y you have uh, a vowel, like A, and uh, if we have A, O, I, let me write them down here for you. A, I, O, E, U. These are called vowels. Sedadar. Before Y, if you have a vowel, you don't need to change it. Okay, like play. 
played. But if before Y you have no vowel, you have a consonant, you have to change it. You have to change it to I. Like we have try. Try. Before Y we have a consonant, which is R. Tried to study. Cool. But some friends call. What is the what is past of call? Called. Alright. And they me to a party invite what is past of invite invited very good invited or invited some friends and i cook dinner together what is past of cook yes thank you cooked you're amazing guys i don't see you but i can feel you say the right the correct answer Next one, I watch movie. Watch, watched. I watched a movie, but not like it. So what is the negative and past form of like? Good. Didn't. Didn't like it. I didn't like it. All right. Uh, okay, so... I want to uh, tell you again, let's review. So I played a video game, past of play, played. I not want to work. So past of, uh, past the negative form of want, didn't want. My best friend, call, past of call, called me. We chatted online or we chatted for a while. It rained, so I didn't want to go out. My friend and I practiced guitar together. I tried to study, but some friends called and they invited me to a party. Some friends and I cooked dinner together. I watched a movie, but I didn't like it much. Perfect. You got it, right? All right, so the common error here, it's very important. Do not use a simple past form after didn't. You cannot say, I didn't clean the house. No way. After didn't, you have to use the verb, simple verb. Like, I didn't clean the house. I didn't call you. I didn't talk to you. I didn't go out. I didn't call you. Uh, I didn't study, I didn't watch TV, I didn't rent a movie, I didn't teach online. Mm? A lot of words, a lot of uh, sentences you can make using this. Cool. Let's get to speaking naturally ED endings. How to pronounce them. You see that. Here I said wanted. Why wanted? Called. Chatted. Rained, practiced, practiced, called, invited, tried, cooked, watched. Okay, we need to say how to pronounce them. Cool. We have three sounds for ending uh, for ed endings like t, d, d. Ed. Okay? T. D. Ed. Like, I worked. This ED sounds like T. I worked on Saturday. D. We played a game. We played a game. All right? Cool. Ed. Like, I chatted or I chatted online. You got it? Perfect. I want to know that ED ending for simple past verbs is pronounced three ways. And you see that t, d, and et. If uh, this ED is uh, um, an extra syllable, like we say chat, Chat. This is one syllable. Chat. 
you can say, oh, let me just do it here. Okay. Chat. If you add ED and it's like two syllables, you have to say chatted. Okay. Ed. Chatted. And uh, only after verbs ending in T or D, you have to say at. Only when the base form of the, uh, e, uh, the verb ends in t or d. Great. Let's listen and repeat the verbs and sentences below and which verbs end in t or d. Which verbs have an extra syllable and end in ed? Let's do it together, guys. This, these two sounds like t and d and this one ed. Okay, if there, if there is one more syllable like chat, chat it, you have to add ed. If not, if it sounded like t or d, you check the box. All right, listen. Page 99. 3. Speaking naturally. ED endings. B. Listen and repeat the verbs and sentences below. Which verbs end in t or d? Which verbs have an extra syllable and end in id? Check the correct column. 1. Talked. I talked to some friends from college. 2. Visited. Then I visited a classmate. 3. Invited. She invited me over. 4. Stayed. I stayed a couple of hours. 5. Watched. We watched a movie together. 6. Enjoyed. I really enjoyed my evening. All right, so first one uh, is talked. I talked to some friends from college, so it sounds like t you checked the box. Visited. Visited. Visit. Visit. It's one syllable. If you add ed, it's visited. Okay, two. Visited. Then I visited a classmate. So ed, we have to tick the box. Or check the box. Invite. Invite. So ed, invited. Cool. Again, invited. Ed. Stayed. Stayed. It sounds like d stayed here all right so keep it in mind that i i told you about this already look before y we have a which is a constant uh, which is a vowel so we don't we don't need to change it all right so we don't need to change it i stayed a couple of hours i stayed a couple of hours okay check watch watched we watched a movie together so here watched sounds like t. enjoyed enjoy enjoyed it sounds like d i really enjoyed my evening all right so just two of them had extra syllables so visit visited invite invited all right and uh let me complete this. Uh, if you have uh, verbs like hate, start, let me write them down here. Hate, start, visit, need, and want if you add ed to these verbs 
you need to pronounce them like ed, like hate, hated, start, started, visit, visited, need, needed, want, wanted. Do you remember I told you if you have T at the end, it's like T is, is the same as T because it sounds like t, hate, start, visit, or need. You have T or D. You add ED to the end and it sounds like ed. Hate, hated, start, started. All right, so when you have T or D at the end of your verb, after adding ED, you have to pronounce it like ed. All right. All right, guys, so we're done with uh, lesson A of unit 10. See you soon. Goodbye.